I was born in Avila Beach um, and I think it's probably one of the most beautiful places in the world. And so I grew up um, with the ocean as my compass, as I like to say, I always know where the ocean is. I've been involved with the um, council since the beginning. Our main focus is on environmental protection, um, outreach consultation on projects and keeping our traditional cultural practices alive. I'm actually the third generation of Chumash people to work on the Marine Sanctuary effort. The Chumash Heritage National Marine Sanctuary was uh, formed as a group of local grassroots um, NGOs and um, organizations like Sierra Club and Surfrider that all came together to oppose the seismic testing efforts. Well, marine protected areas have a lot of benefits, but specifically for me, the, the most important um, benefit um, to this nomination with the Chumash is that it's the first tribally led nomination. And so getting indigenous people involved in land and ocean protection is um, something that I'm committed to. I would say a badass leader is somebody who often unfortunately stands alone. You know, this has been a long journey and my dad and I have done a lot of this work on our own. And so uh, sometimes you do the hard work by yourself. Um, it takes a lot of vulnerability to be able to stand there and say, this is not right. This is not what we should be doing. So I always tell people that I will not do anything that I don't have fun doing. You have to really love what you're doing. Find your passion, find your niche and, um, and be good at what you do. And so, um, I've had a lot of help along the way to get to where I am, and I really appreciate um, the teamwork and the partners and the community.